Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. So I wanna give you some breaking news that I'd say by the time you watch this video, a lot of you probably are aware of it. And while I, I don't always do just breaking news stuff, I think this one uh, is important, my opinion. And then I think that it definitely is going to pertain to our lifestyle that, that you and I share uh, with being more prepared, preparedness for yourself and your family. And that is this uh, Capitol Hill attack this morning. Um, I don't have all the details on it, uh, but I have been trying to keep up with news updates in the news. Uh, and I think that there's some significance here. I think the, the repercussions and, and what's going on uh, are more than just a simple thing that's happened in the news. As we all know, uh, since what, at least two months ago, there's been a large military presence at the Capitol building and there's been a wall built around it. There are checkpoints throughout the city. Uh, the entire city is basically a fortified uh, complex. And there have been, you know, fears of there and rumors of, of attacks and insurgency there. But as many of us know that, you know, didn't figure anything is actually being planned and that there's some ulterior motive to having this here. Plus, there's a lot of other things happening in the news. Uh, there's a lot of other things that uh, are all connected. You know, the, the huge push for massive gun regulations uh, to, to make it nearly impossible to purchase uh, firearms and, a, and ammunition. And then, of course, the whole VC passport, which is my new little term. I'm going to refer to that, you know, in your arm passport, VC passport. That in the news, it's amazing me how it's the, the, the talk in the news is growing at kind of an exponential rate. And I'll re probably do a video on that over on uh, Rumble here in the next day or two or so. But this thing in Washington, D.C., maybe I'm wrong. And if I am, I'll admit it. But I think that there's going to be some significance here. Now, I know that there's probably going to be a lot of people say, well, you know, is this even a real thing? Is this a staged event, a false flag, uh, so on and so forth. I, I don't know, and it's so early on in it that it's hard to really tell. But it does seem suspicious that over the past few weeks there's been a lot of shootings. Uh, it seems to be a lot more in the news about shootings than there has been in a while, and it's, it's kind of uh, suspicious at least that it's all happening right as uh, Congress is trying to push through uh, some very, very restrictive, probably the most restrictive uh, gun control uh, legislation that this nation has ever seen. And then also, uh, it seems suspicious that nothing's happened in, at the Capitol. Nothing's happened in Washington for the last couple of months. And I think a lot of the people are starting to think, well, why do we need all these troops here? Why all this money being spent? Uh, so, of course, they've got to have something happen to justify them being there. Um, to give you an update, if you haven't heard, uh, apparently uh, this person was in his vehicle and, and ran through a checkpoint and tried to ram the gate or the, the fence around the, the Capitol. Uh, appears that he ran over a couple of police officers. Two to three police officers have been injured, and as the last that I saw, one had recently passed. Uh, and it does also appear that the, 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 the person driving the car, the suspect, uh, has also, um, is now deceased, probably because of the, uh, of the police officers firing on him, as, as best as I can find out. Um, I haven't seen any information on the motive, any information on, on, on other details other than that. Since then, Washington, D.C. has now been put on lockdown, and there's been video floating around of uh, National Guard troops uh, rapidly moving uh, around the Capitol building, uh, basically uh, creating a barrier uh, around the entire Capitol complex. We've been saying this since this has happened. They started putting troops there. No free nation keeps armed regular service, uh, even though they're National Guard, they're still, they're still actively, you know, in service right now, uniformed military in and around their Capitol building. A and, a, and a wall, 
No other free nation, democratic, whatever you want to call it, has that. Uh, this is very reminiscent of of countries in the past that were, uh, well, they were very, uh, very controlling, that they weren't a free nation, that they, the people lived uh, under a system of, of tyranny and control. And here we have that. And I know many of you have talked about that in the past. And then also the, this push for the, for the guns. And you know what? As much as I, I, I love firearms, as much as I uh, am very pro Second Amendment, it's not just about guns. It's about much more than that. It's about controlling not just the firearms that you purchase. It's about controlling every aspect of your life. I mean, that's what this whole VC passport is all about. Uh, and then that's what the whole Great Reset is. If you look, at, look into that deeper, where they want to uh, monitor and control every bit of food, every animal, every vegetable. They want to tag it. They want to know exactly where it's at. They want to know where your money's at. They want to know where it's being spent. They want to, to know where every animal is on the planet, every tree. Uh, they, they want to, to have absolute control of all of the information on this planet. And they know that if, that if you and I are capable of defending ourselves, if we, you and I are capable uh, of having actually some sort of a chance of fighting for freedom um, through the means of arms, then uh, it, it diminishes their chances uh, of establishing this totalitarian control. And so, yes, that's why they want the guns. That's why they want to control them, regulate them, and take them away from you. But you always have to remember, it's not just about them, because the guns are simply a tool. They're a tool to protect you, a tool to fight for you, for your, your freedom that gives you an advantage, or at least a more level playing field. Um, but in the end, they are just a, 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 an object. Um, it's all about you. It's about your mind, your body, and controlling who you are, what you think, what you can do, and what you can put into your body. And I have a feeling that this event today at the Capitol building is probably kind of like the Suez Canal stuck ship thing. I think the Suez Canal stuck ship, even though it's not stuck anymore and it's moved on, uh, still being held and inspected and checked, but I believe that the Suez Canal stuck ship was kind of like a, a starting point or at least a tipping point. Probably not a starting point because it's already started, but a tipping point uh, when it comes to the economy, uh, the global supply chain, uh, even currencies. I think that that can be considered kind of a tipping point. And of course, time will only tell, but um, we're, we're starting to see it's kind of like a, a house of cards that you've already removed certain cards and then that you take that last one just before it falls um, i think that that's what the suez canal thing was and i think that this has the potential for that this capitol hill uh, attack i think it certainly has the potential for that with there's been all this hype and this buildup of you know uh, one side talking about how they live in fear of going to work there in the capitol building and how they you know there's all these people that want to hurt them and that we have to protect from all these extremists out there these american extremists and homegrown extremists and, and that's why we need all these troops and we have to you know question all our troops and make sure that there's none of these crazy extremists within our ranks and and on and on you know this beating this 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 drum that um, there's so many dangerous Americans and, and that the government is simply doing these things to protect the rest of the country from these dangerous patriotic extremists. And then now something has happened. And of course, the person appears to be deceased now, been killed, so there's no way to get his side of the story of, of uh, the reasons why he did it. Maybe he was paid to do it. Maybe, you know, maybe he's still alive and they're just saying he's dead. Who knows? The point is, is that I have a feeling that this event today at the Capitol building could be a tipping point also. It could be a tipping point for when it comes to guns. It could be a tipping point for when it comes to the, you know, more militarization uh, of our government and, and, and of our capital. And so I'm, I'm doing this video, and I know a lot of times people on the channel, they're like, well, but this was a prepping and a homesteading channel. Why are you talking about news and stuff? 
because these events that happen around us, they do pertain to our homesteading and, and prepping lifestyle. Sure, I have lots of videos out there on how to, you know, what to stock up, how to grow garden, how to do this. But along the way, you need to know what's going on around you that's going to affect that lifestyle. Uh, because a, a, a large portion of the things that we prepare for are affected by what governments and polices and militaries and people in power do. And so, and your ability to take care of yourself, your ability to actually live on the land, your ability to grow your own food and to defend yourself, uh, it is all can at times be in the hands of these governments. They, they, you know, by force, they might take that away. So yes, that's why I want to talk about this stuff at times, why we should keep the dialogue going and be aware of it. Because I see the possibility. I'm not saying that it absolutely will happen. I'm not making any predictions. But with what happened today in the Capitol building with the, the car ramming the, the fence and and the, the police officers being injured and one dying, I see the possibility of this being used as a tipping point to further this agenda of tyranny, this globalist agenda uh, to take away your freedoms. Uh, again, I'll do a video over on Rumble talking about uh, not just this, but the, the VC passport and stuff. But they're actually, the, the, the terminology that they're using is that you know, if you do this, if you submit to the government, if you submit to our authority, then you'll have freedom. Think about that. Ponder that little statement right there. If you submit to the government, then you'll have freedom. You have real freedom. You don't have freedom without government. You don't have freedom without all these laws and all these restrictions and regulations and mandates and ordinances. But if you, we have all these things and you obey them and you submit to us, then that's real freedom. That's the kind of stuff that they're talking about. Um, I, 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 every dystopian book and movie that's been written over the past century, century and a half, it's like it's playing out right before our eyes right now. And it, it's, it amazes me how so few of the people around us even see that, even get it. Um, it's like they just glaze over. So folks... Pay attention, be aware of what's going on, listen to the, to the talk, the terminology that's going to be used over the next few days, and, and let's set back and see if this event that's happened today at the Capitol building, uh, what it leads to, because I have a, have a, I have a feeling uh, that, that it could lead be that tipping point to lead us further down that road of tyranny. It, it would be the, the fuel to, to, to fuel their, the, this fire that they, are, that they are burning across the nation, uh, this fire consuming the last vestiges uh, of freedom on this, uh, in this country that we have. And so I, I certainly see that possibility here. And of course, time will tell. Um, but what that means for us is it gives us a little heads up gives us a heads up to prepare a little bit more, to stock up a little bit more, to, to get our houses in order, because folks, that's what you need to be doing. You need to be getting your house in order, getting your house in order spiritually, getting your houses in order physically, getting your house in order mentally, getting your houses in order with the supplies that you have, with the skills that you have, with where you live, with your ability to be self-sufficient. This is what I mean when I say get your houses in order. Because there's going to come a day that if your house isn't in order, then it could mean the difference between you and your family being free or being controlled and property of the state. <sighs> Let's sit back and see, I guess, folks. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but I certainly could see how this event today could play into their hands of furthering this agenda of gun control, militarization, restriction of rights and movements and freedoms um, could certainly happen. All right, folks, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.